this video, we are going to be making a fortune heart. This is Leila Torres of OrigamiSpirit.com. If you like this video, give it a like and subscribe to this channel. This heart is very easy to make and is the precursor to making a fortune cookie, which is shown in another video. Enjoy it! This heart can be made with uh, thinner paper, such as Kami paper, or with uh, printer paper, like this one. Uh, if you want to make it with Kami paper, for a color heart, start with the white side facing up. Rotate the paper so that it looks like a diamond and we are going to fold in half, corner to corner. Rotate. This folded edge is now up and we are going to be making a fold from that folded edge to the center. It's a vertical fold and it's only to about the center. We just calculate it by eye. We bring the right corner to match the left corner and fold to the center. Leave it folded and we are going to create a fold coming from the end of this previous crease here at the center out to the upper folded edge. To do that, we are going to by eye, look at this distance, visualize halfway that distance and one quarter from this edge to this, about there, or a little less. That's where we want to begin our next fold, about there. So it's going to come through all the layers from there to here. We are pre-folding here. Now we look at this distance that we have from that new corner out to the left corner. And now we are going to visualize thirds of this distance. So one, two, three. About one third or a little bit more, we are going to make the new fold. So we are going to make a fold coming from that folded edge vertical coming down to this raw edge. This section will match this folded section. And same on the back, we just trace and fold. Unfold, and we unfold it all the way to the square so that we see the mountain fold. So now we are going to identify this diamond at the center and a vertical central line of that diamond. We have one section that is valley fold and then other that is mountain fold. We want to reinforce all that section as a valley fold. So. Now all of that is valley. On the left here of the diamond, we have one section that is a mountain and another that is a valley. We want to reinforce both of them as mountain faults. So we have one that is already there as a mountain fault and we have another one that is a valley fault and we reinforce it as a mountain fault. Mountain, mountain, valley. This side we are going to leave it alone. Next, we are going to be blunting these two corners. We have the folds there, so we fold to the back. We are going to pinch together these two sections of the paper. On the left side, this left side is going to lie above that right area of the diamond. But we are going to make sure that this point is raised up like this, like convex. But this is going to be concave. So now we do join those sections of the diamond together and then we are going to fold along this mountain fold. And press from the back so that this back area 
just against this front area. Now we are going to blunt these corners here. We determine the midpoint of this distance and about there. This is going to be a universal fold because we fold to the front and we fold to the back. Make sure that this distance equals this distance. And now we insert our finger and press that short area and reverse it. So we do an inside reverse fold. Same on this side. We can reinforce all the folds. We have the heart.